Hello all. So through the last videos, uh, we have learned about uh, the instantaneous and the method of velocity analysis in mechanisms, right? In this video, we are going to study about uh, the relative velocity method for velocity analysis in mechanisms. So it's a very familiar term, what is the relative method, uh, relative velocity is, right? Whenever two bodies are moving, there will be a velocity of first body with respect to the other body, right? There will be a velocity of first body with respect to the or relative to the other body. That velocity is known as a relative velocity of body 1 or body 2 with respect to body 1. Usually, the relative velocity can be obtained by the vector difference of the two velocity vectors, right? Now, consider the motion of a link. Assume a link AB. See, this is a link AB which is rotating with an angular velocity omega in the clockwise direction. So, the rule is the velocity of the point B with respect to A will be a line perpendicular to the line connecting B and A. The velocity of the point B with respect to A will be a line perpendicular to the line connecting B and A in the sense of omega. And the meaning is See, the velocity of B with respect to A will be perpendicular to the line connecting B and A. That means that will be perpendicular to this line. So, we can draw perpendicular either in this direction or in this direction, right? So, what will be the direction of the velocity? The velocity will be in the sense of omega. See, the omega is rotating like this. So, since the omega is rotating like this, since the omega is rotating like this, it will be perpendicular in this direction. So, we have obtained the magnitude, right? What will be its, sorry, we have obtained the direction, right? What will be its magnitude? The method says, the magnitude, velocity of B with respect to A, that is indicated right like this. Velocity of B with respect to A will be equal to the product of the angular velocity omega and the distance between B and A, that means the distance A, B. So, this is the magnitude. So, velocity of B with respect to A is equal to omega into A, B. And the direction will be perpendicular to the line connecting A and B. So, we can take this value in a suitable scale. And if we can be able to draw a line perpendicular to this A, B using the scale. See, this is called a velocity diagram. In velocity diagram, all the letters corresponding to the position diagram is indicated with the small letters. So, as it is rotating with respect to the point A, that will be that can be taken as a fixed point, and that A is indicated as a small A. So from that point, we can draw a line perpendicular to this AB at a distance of this value, like this, and at the end point we can name it as a small b. So this will be small b corresponding to the velocity image of the point the capital B. So this is known as a velocity of b with respect to a. This arrow means this is velocity of b with respect to a. You can draw an arrow here also. That will be velocity of a with respect to b. This is the introductory portion that has to be understood before we are going to the velocity analysis by relative velocity. Now we are going to another term which is known as the rubbing velocity. Rubbing velocity means see this is one linger. This is another link. Suppose this link is rotating in this direction omega with omega 1 angular velocity. This is rotating in this direction with an angular velocity omega 2. See there is a P. Because of the rotation of the link, there will be a linear velocity at this pin joint. And that velocity is known as a rubbing velocity. That velocity erupts the two links. That velocity is known as the rubbing velocity. The magnitude of rubbing velocity can be obtained as the product of velocity rubbing is equal to the product of the radius of the pin into omega 1 plus or minus omega 2. If the both the links are rotating in opposite direction, it will be r into omega plus omega 2 if both are rotating in opposite direction and it will be omega 1 minus omega 2 if it is rotating in the same direction. That is called a rubbing velocity between the x or rubbing velocity at the pin joint. So now we are moving to 
the velocity analysis of a four-bar mechanism. And by doing the velocity analysis of a four-bar mechanism, we can understand what are the basic things or what are the step-by-step -step approach that we have to undergo for the velocity analysis using relative velocity method. And the important thing is that the relative velocity method is very important because it is the first step for acceleration analysis of a mechanism. Without the velocity analysis, we cannot and uh, we cannot conduct acceleration analysis in a mechanism. So we are going to oh, the velocity analysis of a forward mechanism. The question you can see in your screen right now. The problem is uh, provided in your screen right now. A forward mechanism A B C D with the dimensions are given. A B 40 mm, B C 150 mm, C D 80 mm, and the fixed link A D is 150 mm. The crank AB is rotating at an angular velocity at an RPM of 120 in the clockwise direction. We have to calculate the angular velocity of the wing C. That is the question. So, the first step is using a proper or a suitable scale, we have to construct the position diagram of the mechanism. Right? So, uh, the easy thing is that uh, we can take a scale of 1 cm is equal to 20 mm. So that this will be 2 cm, this will be 7.5, this will be 4 cm and this will be 7.5 and the 60 degrees is given. So draw the horizontal line AD or the fixed length AD at an inclination 60 degree draw AB from here at an inclination draw an arc of 150 mm from here draw intersector the previous arc with the 80 mm so that we can construct the mechanism ABCD. So the position diagram of the mechanism is completed. Right. You have to draw, you have to write it. This is the position diagram. So, this is the position diagram. So, the first step is see, we have to draw the velocity diagram, right? So, the velocity diagram can be constructed based on certain calculations. The first step is see, this is the crank where the RPM of the crank is given. What is RPM? It is given that the NBO is equal to 120. From that we can obtain omega V A that is equal to 2 pi into 120 divided by 60 that is a 4 pi, 4 pi means 12 pi and 5, 6 radians per second. So, omega V A is obtained. Now, we can calculate, see I have already told, now we can calculate the linear velocity of the point V with respect to relative velocity of the point V with respect to A. How can we calculate the velocity of B? With respect to A is equal to, in the region, AB into, is AB into omega BA, right? AB into omega BA, that is, it is a 40 mm, so 0 0.04 into 12.56, and on calculation, you will get 0 0.5, 0 0.503 meter per second. So, once we have obtained the velocity of the point B with respect to A, we can select a suitable scale for velocity analysis, here we can take 1 centimeter is equal to 0.1 meter per second because it is obtained as a 0.503. So we can take a scale over 1 centimeter is equal to 0.1 meter per second. See, here A and B are fixed endings. So fixed endings will be having velocity 0. So at a suitable point, select a point on the sheet and name it as small a comma small d. What is small and small d? It is the velocity image of capital A and capital D. Since these are fixed, there will be zero velocity, so it is indicated with a small point, capital A, small a comma small d. Then, how can we obtain the point of image of B? You know that the relative velocity of B with respect to A will be perpendicular to the line connecting A and B in the sense of omega. So, it will be perpendicular to this line in this direction. What will be the magnitude? If the magnitude is 0.503, then it will be equal to 5 centimeter. So, from this point, at a distance of 5 centimeter, draw a line perpendicular to this line. The E line is perpendicular to the line. The E point is perpendicular to the line. At a distance of 5 centimeter. So, that's it. We have obtained the point B by C. This is capital B, so this will be the velocity in small b. And this will be the velocity of the point B with respect to A. Now, see, this is BC. How can you obtain the velocity of point C with respect to B? Velocity of the point C with respect to B will be a line perpendicular to the line and B and C. So BC is the line perpendicular to the line. That will be the velocity of the point C with respect to B. 
Now, now we, we don't, don't have any direction. We only have a direction. What will be the direction? The direction is perpendicular to BC and passing through the point B. So, cross will be at the distance of the drawing line perpendicular to this BC. Because the velocity of the point, the velocity vector of C with respect to B will be a line perpendicular to BC. So, BC and the line is perpendicular to the line. We can draw either through C or through B. C is not correct, B is known. Through B, draw a line perpendicular to this BC. Upon the E line, perpendicular to the line of the See, we can draw through the point. So, draw a line through B perpendicular to this BC. Now, see, this is linguist AD. What will be the velocity of C with respect to D? The velocity of C with respect to D will be a line perpendicular to CD and passing through D. Alle, when the E line perpendicular to we can draw a line passing through C. Alle, so through a line, uh, draw a line perpendicular to CD through the point D. No, in a perpendicular to D, you could have a shoe, and a second of the in the C, this is the velocity diagram. So this point will be C. Angel, if we are indicated here, that will be velocity of C with respect to A. See, A and D are fixed points, so the relative velocity and absolute velocity will be same. So, we can draw a, write either velocity of C with respect to A or simply we can write it as a velocity of C. Here, see, this will be velocity of C with respect to D and this will be uh, with respect to B and this will be velocity of B with respect to C. So this is the velocity analysis. So, once you complete the velocity diagram, we can measure the corresponding value. See, it will be 0.385. It will be 3.85 centimeter. We can say it as a 0.385 meter per second. S is equal to 3.85 centimeter. That will be 0.385 meter per second. Therefore, velocity of C is equal to 0.385 meter per second. So, we have obtained the velocity of the point C. Now, what is the calculation for velocity of C? We know that velocity of C means velocity of C with respect to A that is equal to omega C A or omega A C. So, velocity of C is equal to here. It is not velocity of C with respect to A. Velocity of C with respect to D. Because D is also a fixed length. So, velocity of C with respect to D. So, velocity of C is equal to that means velocity of C D is equal to omega cd into cd, right? b is equal to r omega. So, velocity of c means velocity of c with respect to d, bcd means cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to velocity of c with respect to d, b cd means cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd. Velocity of c is equal to omega cd into omega cd radians per second. So, the magnitude of the angular velocity of the link C with respect to, of the link CD is obtained as 4.8 radians per second. Now, we have to calculate the direction also. See, velocity of the C with respect to D is obtained like this. This is the direction of velocity of C with respect to D. Take that direction. It is velocity of C with respect to D. Velocity of C with respect to D. So, take that direction and mark here. This is the direction of velocity of C with respect to D. So, if the direction of velocity of C with respect to D will be same, in this direction, it should be rotating like this. If you rotate it, you will be able to rotate the velocity of the direction. So, it will be clockwise. So, angular velocity of C with respect to D is clockwise. Okay. So, this is the mechanism. Initially, we can calculate the velocity of point B with respect to A. It is 0 0.503. Using a suitable scale, we can convert this 0 0.503 as 5 centimeter. We know that the velocity of the point B with respect to A will be perpendicular to the line BA. So, take a point A, mark it as A comma D, small A comma D, because A and D are fixed things and they have no velocity for that. And through that point, draw a velocity perpendicular to this AB at a distance of 5 centimeter, so that we have obtained B. Now, Velocity of C with respect to B will be perpendicular to BC. So, in this direction, draw a line passing perpendicular to the point B. Now, 
velocity of c is equal to d will be perpendicular to the line c and d so through d royal line perpendicular to this d so then the intersection point will give c measure all the value and after calculation you will get the corresponding value. so i hope all of you have understood the velocity analysis of a forbar mechanism using relative velocity